Well, welcome back to This Is Your Life, and I am Queen Von Shea Tarot. And today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Leo. It is April 16th. It is a Sunday. So let's get started, Leo. We're going to use these cards right here to start off your reading, Leo. going on with this fire sign, Leo? What would you like, Leo, to know I miss for Sunday? Can I get two cards only for Leo regarding Sunday today? What's going on in your life? Okay. Can I get one more card, please? So you got traffic cone and it says caution, Leo. Okay. Number 32 could be significant. You got number five and it says mountain and obstacles. Okay, Leo. And then you got the sunflower and it says action and you got number 32. Okay. So <clears throat> it looks like for some of you fire signs, you guys um, may need, you guys may need to move forward, okay? You guys may need to move forward in something, okay? But in the process, the universe is asking you to be cautious with your movement, okay? All right? There will be, there may be some obstacles in your way, but as long as you move with caution, you should be able to avoid anything that might um, hinder you. And even though I don't um, read these cards in the reverse, we do have lightning right here, but it's in the reverse, okay? And it says disruption, but it's in the reverse. But I said as, as long as you're able to um, avoid these obstacles um, and move with caution, everything should be able to be okay for you. Okay, Leo, but let's just see. Let's just see what the um, tarot has to say moving forward. Let me use these cards right here. Universe. Can I get a few cards? at least one to two more cards for Leo regarding this spread here on Sunday. What else is going on with Leo? Why is caution here for Leo? Can I get one more card here for Leo, please? Universe? Is there anything else you want? Is fire sign enough here on sun Sunday? At the bottom of the deck, you have the seven of swords. It says deceit, theft, um, two faced spine, and manipulation. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, right here by the obstacles, we have, um, we have generosity. It says giving freely and um, recklessness spending. So um, you might want to be a little bit more cautious when it comes to your money. So that could be what it is, Leo. Um, that could be the obstacles that you're facing. It could be something at your job or it just could be with the way that you um, handle your money in general. It's like you may need to do something when it comes to your money. Maybe you're thinking about um, opening up a business or something that's kind of major, but the universe is saying take action, but move 
cautious, okay? Be careful with your decision making if that's what it is. If that's not what the case is, maybe um, the money that you do possess, you know, maybe you're being a little reckless with it, with obstacles being here. Maybe you're doing a little bit too much spending. Um, it says giving freely. Maybe you're giving... Um, you know, giving to people, you know, who don't necessarily deserve it or those who probably do deserve it. But at the same time, you may leave yourself out in that process. And then right here we have action. OK, with the sunflower and it's the two of the two of wands. OK, and that is fire. That's the fire element. OK, and it says planning first steps, making decisions. So, yeah, whatever it is that you're going to do. They're encouraging you to take action, but they just want you to make sure you move with caution, okay? Make the right decision that's going to be for you. They do not want you taking any risk. They want to want you to do what's best for you. Now, this card is turned over, Leo. I can't really see what it says, but let's just turn it over together. Okay, yeah, Pete, you got the, um, you got the Ten of Cups, but the Ten of Cups is in the reverse, okay? It's in a reverse. I'm showing you up in the upright position, but it's in a reverse, okay? So it says um, separation, conflict, disharmony, and isolation, and unhappy home, okay? So it's kind of like if all these steps, if all these, these two cards right here, everything it is that you got going on with caution being right here, your, your home could be like this. It could be in harmony. There could be stability. It could be happy home. But if all these steps right here aren't tucked in the proper um, um, procedure in order that they need to be, it could be like this, Leo. It could be t your um, Ten of Cups. Your happiness could turn into um, an unhappy home, separation, disharmony. And then look at the bottom of the deck. Look, before we even knew this Ten of Cups was here, we had the Seven of Swords. We have the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck, okay? And this says deceit, two-faced, spy, and manipulation. So, yeah, the universe is, is warning you about something that's going on, Leo. And like I said, whether it's the way that you um, spend your money, whether it's an investment that you're thinking about um, diving into, um, please move with caution because everything that you got going on with yourself uh, it looks it looks good, but in a split second, it could be turned upside down. And this Ten of Cups could no longer be that. It would be in the um, reverse like it already is, okay? Let's use these cards right here. The universe. Is there anything else you would like me uh, to know here on this Sunday? It is April 4th, I mean, April 16th. Is there any advice you would like me uh, to know moving forward when it comes to this spread? Can I get about two cards? Can I get about two cards for Leo uh, when it comes to this spread right here? Is there anything else that Leo needs to know moving forward? Damn. Okay. We got summons. We got summons at the bottom of the deck here, Leo. It says reminder. So... The universe is acts, is telling you don't forget. You see, we have don't forget right here. I don't know if you can see that, but the universe is trying to tell you don't forget about maybe they tell you don't forget where you come from. Don't forget where you started at. Maybe it's something like that. Uh, maybe you done got to a place where you feel like ain't no turning back. You're going to always be in this position, but the universe is, wants to remind you you know, this this um, Ten of Cups right here, you know, things could go to the wayside of things if you don't move with um, caution, um, Leo. It's like, all, it's, it says wishing. It's kind of like all your wishes and dreams could be turned upside down in a split second. You have summons at the bottom of the deck. I don't think I've ever got that for anybody. I'm pretty sure I have it. 
So let's just see what that says for you, Leo. Mm-hmm. Listen, it says when, when you choose this card, it is a symbol to create a ritual and get connected with your spirituality. Get in touch with your own inner magic before you make a move forward. This is a warning. This is a warning for you, Leo. Whatever it is that you're thinking about doing, please talk to your spiritual guides. You know, before you make this move, whatever this could be, because with this um, Seven of Swords being right here and Caution being right here and these obstacles being right here, something might not be quite right, Leo. All right, with that being said, I am Queen Von Shea Tarot. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And thank you, Leo.